If you're using a Z Suite account, then you have access to Activity Dashboard. And to access Activity Dashboard, you can go into Tools. And over here in the bottom, you can see that there's Activity Dashboard. So you can access Activity Dashboard from over here, or you can go on to the top where you can see Activity Dashboard right here. This is the icon for it. Once again, this is only available for Z Suite account users. So if I were to click on this, what happens is that you can see who are viewing the document right here. So currently, uh, I'm the only viewer, so you don't see any option right here. You can also see viewer trends on who viewed the document when, so you will see a list of uh, viewership on that particular document. So if you want to see that for some reason, it'll be all collected here. The comments will all be collected right here, so you can invite people to comment over here as well. And you can also see sharing history on who uh, the document has been shared with. And over here in privacy settings, this is where you can set. So even uh, when you view a document, when you make changes to a document right over there, all of the records are stored in uh, your Google Docs document. So you can show the view history for all of the document seats and slide files from over here. So document editors and owners here, as you can see, you can see um, my view history for all the doc seats and slide files, unless I decline the document settings below, as you can see right here. So you can set this out or you can turn this off so that you can work anonymously and the record of you viewing any documents is not shown whatsoever. You can also go, over, go around over here and show the view history for a particular document over here. So you just want to turn this off for this document. You can turn that off and your viewership history won't be uh, shown over there to the other users in the document. So this is a way to protect your privacy as well if you don't want others to track you or your activity for some reason. And this is how you can work around with activity dashboard inside of Google Docs document if you have a G Suite account. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.